Greetings, YouTube. Mike Kaylee 7 here. As usual. Taking the fun way to work. Trying a new camera setting today. Oh, flouting the law again. Uh, how, how quickly we forget. I was using, um, I think it was 2K resolution, and it was something about, mo it said moto or motor, like, you know, if you're on a bike or something. So, now, I'm on the cinematic super view, using GoPro color. In the past couple of videos, I, I recorded, I haven't put them up yet, as of this recording, which is uh, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I um, turned off the color thing, GoPro color was the setting, and so I changed it to flat. And uh, that, that really is not so great. I gotta say, it's really not so great. Everything looked washed out, right? And I know if it's flat, right? So you that's because it's uh, you're able to edit it better, prettier with the colors in studio. But I don't have those skills. So here I was trying to mess with the colors and I would make it look good in in the one spot that I was looking at, but then you go under a tree and everything turns dark blue. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing, so that's a problem. My, my movie program also, uh, I don't think it applies the effect to the entire timeline. You know, because there's multiple little video clips, right? So if I'm going to have specific settings on one clip, I have to repeat those settings. I don't remember what the hell they are. So those videos I'm still experimenting with in the editing room. I use um, Movie Studio 16. It's not too bad. And uh, I have an idea. I'm going to not worry about the way the video looks in terms of the colors. I'm just going to edit the video like I would normally do, turn it into a movie, and then open it up in the Movie Studio again as one long track and try to edit the color that way and see if that helps. I don't know. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I leaned a little bit too aggressively there. Scared myself. It's a nice cool morning. It's only 71 degrees. That's not too bad at all. It's supposed to go up to 86 today in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. And I am happy. Got it. I got my phone here on the Waze app. And I got uh, my coffee. So I suppose now would be a good time to... Uh, talk about how the Kawasaki is better than the Goldwing. Because I sit in the absolute lap of luxury. Okay, so obviously let's get the, 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 the elephant in the room out of the way or whatever. This is just a joke. Uh, being facetious. But there are, you know, everything has its good points. And so one thing that's better about the Kawasaki than the Goldwing is it's faster. It can take off faster, get up to speed faster, go ridiculously faster 
this has a limiter on it so the max speed this can go is 112 and that thing there is no limiter on it so I haven't gotten to its highest number and I don't know if I ever will but I did get up to 148 on the Kawasaki so put that in your pipe and smoke it another thing that's uh, better about the Kawasaki is the uh, lean angle it can lean a lot better it's got a 48 degree lean angle and I know this because well 48 degrees with the the rear sets the way they are right now this the stock rider peg rear set whatever things uh, they've got what they call road sensors on them little pieces of metal that stick out the bottom of the road the rider peg and then when you hear them scrape you've reached the limit and that's 48 degrees <laughs> Leaning this thing is is an entirely different procedure. I get used to being able to lean the the bike way over, and this one you don't lean this bike that way. You lean your body way more. I do 65. The Kawasaki is also better in the cool factor for the young kids. I think the old people, they probably like the Gold Wing better, but the young kids like the the Kawasaki better. I mean, it looks like it's going too fast, even when it's stopped. And knowing what it can do raises the cool factor, so there you go. But again, that's a matter of personal preference. I don't feel cooler on it. Uh, I've kind of given up, or just... I no longer care about looking cool. I mean, look at me. How could I, if I cared about looking cool, I'd have to shoot myself. Sometimes you just have to accept the reality of things. And of course, you know, I try to lose weight and all that. It's not as easy as it used to be. getting a little bit of practice with, you know, reminding myself how to lean this bike. And it's a bit wet too, so... Not too bad, not too bad. What a gorgeous morning, yes. I feel very fortunate to live where I do. Struggled long and hard to find the right place, and once I did, I said, that's it, I'm done. I ain't moving no more. So, um, yeah, I can't think of anything else that the Kawasaki is better for. Maybe the, the suspension options are better. You can really tune the suspension better on that thing. It's got more options, you know.
Oof, there's evidence right there of why you shouldn't go 100 on this road, Mike. Oof, dead animal. Alright, this is my Kaylee 7. You guys take care. I'll talk to you later.